guys. Hello, 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 hello. How is everyone doing today? First and foremost, how are you all doing today? I want you to comment and let me know how your mental health is doing. Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling good? It's kind of a crappy time right now. It's a very stressful time, but I want to know that everyone's doing okay. But thank you all for being here. I hope you're having a good day. I hope that you are drinking lots of water and taking care of yourself and uh, just being a little zen. So kind of the big reason that I wanted to come on live today is because there's a lot of, there's a lot of crap going on, right, in the world. Oh, Debbie, Debbie, I see your comment, Debbie. Don't you, don't you worry. But there's a lot of crap going on in the world. For a second, let's kind of like zen out and let's talk about makeup, which at the end of the day, makeup doesn't matter, right? I love makeup more than anything, but it doesn't matter. So let's talk about stuff that doesn't matter, shall we? I don't know, I think that'd be fun. But how are you guys all doing? Let me say hi to people in the comments. I see Encrumba, is that Nancy, I believe? Hmm. I see Anastas Anastasia, Anastasia. Uh, Tyler said all makeup matters. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, I see you. Uh, Emily, hi. Oh, yes. So Emily says that she's excited to see how this one is, and hopefully it's better than the Elf and Jay Kissa. How many of you were here for that debacle? Shit show, whatever you want to call it. That was that was super special. Um, Heather Coyne is here. Hi, Heather. Um, Ashley is here. Betsy is here. Chris Rowan. Julie. Oh, Julie says my hair looks good. Thank you, Julie. I haven't actually curled my hair in a very long time because um quarantine. And oh, I'm sorry. Momo Kitty says definitely not okay, but happy to be here. Well, I'm happy you're here. And hi, Natalie. Hi, Naomi. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. So you guys know already from the title, from the thumbnail, from all that, we are talking about the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. So if you watched my Will I Buy It that I posted on Monday, this is one of the things that I was just kind of like, do I really want this? And I kept staring at it and staring at it. And then this weekend, I went out and I happened happened by an Ulta and I happened to walk inside and it was right on the front table. And I was like, well, shit. <laughs> they had it open, but of course you're not allowed to touch anything or test it. So I looked at it and it was freaking beautiful. So I definitely picked it up, obviously. But who else is here? Oh, hi, Leah. And I see Davina's here. Oh, thank you for being here. Um, I see Chris, oh, so many people, so many names I recognize. Jennifer Gould, thank you guys so much for being here. And yep, see, uh, is it Buble? 20004 said it happened the same to me. I didn't know if I was gonna get it and arrive today. So I think that everybody who's gotten this palette or who's getting it has gotten it in like the last two days. So I have definitely been binge watching people's videos on this palette too, but I haven't touched this baby yet. I wanted, I was just about to say, I wanna to touch this baby with you guys live. That sounds real wrong. I'm gonna get demonetized instantly, instant demonetization. But I wanted to do this live with you guys. That's what she said, ah, Natalie. <laughs> I wanted to do this live with you guys so that we can see it together. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinions. If you're familiar with my channel, I don't sugarcoat anything. So I'm gonna tell you if I think it's crap. I have the receipt right next to me. And if it's crap, I will return it because I definitely, when I bought it, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I made the wrong mistake because it's so much blue eyeshadow and I don't wear blue eyeshadow that often, but it's so, so beautiful. Oh gosh, Emily says, sending love across the border from Canada. We're stressed out for you guys. Thank you. I actually saw a bunch of people on my Instagram stories talk about how um, they were, they live in England and they're stressed out for us. You should be stressed out for us. I'm stressed out for all of us. Like, so actually because of what's going on right this second, if during this video, they somehow declare a president of the United States, please feel free to put that in the comments. So I know that it, it has happened, but let's, let's start with this. Let me go into it a little bit. So I do wanna say this does come as most Juvia's Place palettes do, uh, just in a cardboard carton, right? 
has on the back it has all of the ingredients and um yes there's there are so there is one duochrome in this palette and possibly two possibly two we're gonna test it out but you list all the ingredients here okay what they talk about now first of all i have to read you this little like header in the top because there's something in it that gets me a little quirky and if you were an english major at any point in your life it might get you too you ready this palette I feel like I need Kate here, Kate the Great Beauty, because she would do a dramatic reading of this, but I'm not um, that dramatic. This palette is inspired by the traditional Benin mask, and tell, tell me if I'm butchering this name, Benin mask of the Edo people of Nigeria, which was sculpted as a portrait of Ayoba, known as Queen Aida, or Idea, Idea. This palette is a mix of culture, playful, and sassiness. It's a mix of playful, do you guys know that Saturday Night Live skit where there's the girls who are like, glamour, elegance, sharky crystals. One time I got banged in the head to death. That's what that reminds me of. This palette is a mixture of playful, sassiness, culture. Tell me you guys remember this. Anyway, to talk about the actual shadows in the palette. So we do have eight pressed pigments in here. So pressed pigments, they do recommend you don't use around the eye area. I guess do as I say, not as I do, because I'm putting them on my eyes. I think most people do that anyway with pressed pigments, but I digress. There are 18 traditional eyeshadows and four pressed glitters. I'm not the hugest fan of pressed glitters, but we're still gonna try this out. So again, traditional cardboard carton. And one thing that I really like about Juvia's Place is that it's always packed with a bunch of bubble wrap. And I bought this, like I said, in Ulta, and it still came with bubble wrap. So I think that's great. And you have the same really beautiful design on the actual packaging. So like I said, I haven't swatched this yet. I haven't swatched it yet. But one thing that I did do, you know how when you open a new palette and that sheet of plastic falls out, that's gone. I threw that shit away because I hate that. So annoying. So I know most of you have seen this. Let me do this so I don't break it. Ooh. So this is what we have. Let me give you a little bit of a close up. You can see in here the pressed glitters, the mattes, the shimmers. Oh my God. It is just stunning. Look at this. So, so, so beautiful. No, there's no smell to it. I don't know why I thought there was a smell to it, but this palette is obviously very heavy on the blue, green, purple tones. If you know me, I don't wear those that often, but I want to because I love the way they look and they're super fun. So I don't know, I just love it. And yes, Natalie says she loves the designs on their packaging, me too. I feel like a lot of thought goes into these and I just think they're really, really beautiful. And honestly, I'm glad there's no mirror. How do you guys feel about mirrors in palettes because i'll be honest i i don't care about them i never ever use a mirror in a palette ever unless i'm traveling no even then i don't use it i don't know maybe that's just me but yeah there's just a whole lot yeah okay so you guys are with me you don't use the mirrors either i just don't see the point and especially if there's no hinge because this do you guys watch x sparkage leisha where she says that this needs palette viagra when it just goes like that yeah it's one of those. So anyway, just really, really, really beautiful. And there are so many pretty colors in here. So I did want to start by doing some swatches. My hair is apparently falling out of my head and just going everywhere. Okay, let's do some swatches. Um, I don't know if I'm going, now tell me in the comments, would you guys like me to swatch every single one of these shadows or would you like me to just do the, the bold ones that we all really want to see? Because I just, oh my gosh, I'm loving the whole palette but there are 30 shades here. <laughs> so while you guys are discussing, let me know how you, how you want that done. While you guys are discussing, I will let you know, so this retails for $38 for 30 shadows, okay? So that means that this, because 20, there's 30 grams of product in here. That is a really, really good price. Oh, wow, so I'm seeing, it's literally like 50-50 between just the bold and sexy ones and all of them, hmm, okay. Let's go with the bold ones. Let's go with the bold ones or the ones, yes, the ones that I'm into the most. Let's let's try that. So I do wanna do some on this side because I'll be honest, this side does not turn me on. These silvers, like these three shades look so similar to each other. 
I'm just not even sure. But let's let's do a couple, okay? So first, I'm gonna dip into Fame. This looks like a nice white. I'm gonna dip into, how about four out of five of each row? Let's try that. Greed. I'm not gonna dip into this one, which is Shakara, because I feel like that's very similar to Fame up here. So I'm gonna do Ambitious and the Pressed Glitter. Hmm, my finger sunk into that. So that looks like a whole lot of the same, doesn't it? Does that look like four of the exact same shades? Let's see though. So this is Fame. It's very light. Okay, so there's an extreme, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. There's a very strong gold shift to this. Let me add some more. I'm surprised because it did not look gold in the pan, but it's very gold in here. This one is Greed, which looks just like straight silver. It's very pretty as well. So now you can see how much more gold this top one is than the silver. Okay, this one is Ambitious, which I feel like is gonna look so much, so similar. Yeah, I mean, they're very, very similar, right? They're different textures for sure, but, um, and then this is the Pressed Glitter. Okay, so there's actually a pretty decent amount of like emollient properties in that glitter. It's actually holding on it's really, really beautiful. Wow, that surprises me. Look at that. Wow, that was one swipe in the pan. That is, that's a fantastic base. Like, I don't even know you would necessarily need a glitter glue with that. So, okay. So using my makeup eraser to get these swatches off, the glitter is now everywhere. So I'm going to wipe it on my sweatpants because I'm a classy lady, what can I say? Okay, now this one, oh, okay. I, I have to dip into this one. So this color is called Nawa O. This one is Wicked. I'm curious to feel these mattes. They feel very soft. Let's do, oh, let's do Amiibo. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the line, guys. Rage. Oh, so this shade is straight up blurple. It is blue purple on every, in every tone that it could be. So as you can see, the one on my pinky finger up here has more of like almost a gray blue tone to it. You've got a straight like violet. You're turning violet, violet over here. You have a great, this one is more blue toned. And this one here is just, oh gosh, this one has a very strong blue glitter to it. So let's see, this one is Nawa O. Ooh, oh. Good God. Wow, 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 wow. I wish you could see this up close. There is such a strong blue glitter in that one. Strong blue glitter. This is the matte called Wicked. Hmm, okay. So that went on a tiny bit streaky, but to be honest, it is a matte. Let's go in again. Hmm, that one's a tiny bit patchy tiny bit, but it, it's a very dry matte. I will say that. This one is Amiibo and this is, oh gosh, I love, I hope that this looks even half as good as I want it to. Ooh, okay. So, mm -hmm. Nawa O, which is up here, has a strong blue glitter. This one, which is Amiibo, has a strong pink glitter. So these are a little bit harder to see, but they're there. And then Rage, this is the one with kind of a gray undertone, like a gray silver. That one is very pretty too. So they are all different. Interesting, so uh, Mrs. Unnecessary said, I've heard almost everyone who's reacted to this palette say they've really wasted a chance for some great silvers and grays in that first vertical row. I would have to agree. Like I think a deep gray with maybe a hint of like purple undertone would have worked so well in this palette. But as of right now, like, oh, that's still really good. So I've still got room here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna wipe this off just yet. So let's go in with this one. This is where a lot of it starts looking the same, but this time I'm gonna go with Dream, which is that, oh God, look at that. Look at that. So Jennifer asked if that was the second duochrome. So let's talk about the duochromes real quick. The, this one up here, fake, is a true duochrome. This one here, money, is the one that people say might be a duochrome, but we're not sure. So I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look at that, you and I, together. 
Let's dip into goals. And <laughs> Ashley said we should offset Linda's low buy. Let's get her Venmo and Super Chats. What are you trying to do to me, girl? What are you trying to do? You trying to corrupt me? I love corruption. So this one is goals. Oh my God. Do you see this? Uh, let's go in, let's see, dope or bold? I wanna go in with dope. And then the last one I'm gonna do for sure is money because this is the one that Britt Clark has said is a duochrome. It is definitely a duochrome. Look at that, let's see if we can see. So, hmm, okay, you see the purple shift on my, on my pinky finger there? And now it's green, purple. That is a duochrome and a half. Wow, and no one's really talking about this color. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, 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 let's go back. So this is dream. This is, hmm, that's pretty. But again, it, this is another mat that like, maybe, there we go. Maybe you just need to layer it a little bit. Maybe you just need to layer it. Ashley, Ashley just sent me $10 via Venmo. Thank you so much, Ashley. <laughs> You're evil. You're evil in the most wonderful way. Um, so this is goals. This is the second press glitter. Okay, this one's definitely, hmm, it's pretty. It's a lot chunkier. Maybe you can see, okay, you see how there are these larger dark blue glitter flakes in there? I'm making stains everywhere along with the teal glitter. So that's kind of strange. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me wipe this off just so it doesn't corrupt. Okay, this one is dope. It's so dope. So dope. Okay. So this one, hmm, I'm trying to see if it's like any of the others. So this one is a straight up blue with blue sparkle. Okay. This one, let's see how this money color does. Oh my gosh. Like as I'm putting it on, it just literally went from like blue to green to purple. Oh, it's so hard to catch it in the light and you just get to see my bingo wings. Hi. No, but what is that? No, but what is that? What is that? Name the movie. If you can name the movie, you and I are best friends. Anyway, you can see the shift on this. Really super pretty. Okay. What do you guys think so far? I'm actually pretty impressed. We've gone through half the palette about. I think that's actually really pretty. I'm really, damn, the glitter is looking nice from far away, isn't it? Doesn't look. Miso, oh, you know what? That's not fair. That's not fair. Miso Silly is the one who just got it. But the reason that it's not fair is because we used to talk about that movie and quote it nonstop when we worked together. That's cheating. But yes, it is from The Sweetest Thing. If you have never seen The Sweetest Thing, oh my gosh, what are you doing with your life? Movie recommendations by Linda. It has Cameron Diaz. It has, oh my gosh, Jen for Gould, you're absolutely right. I am a horrible, horrible YouTuber. But anyway, it has Cameron Diaz. What am I doing? I'm giving myself herpes, glitter herpes over here. Cameron Diaz, Selma Blair, Christina Applegate. I just did a horrible thing and spread glitter everywhere. Give me one second. I gotta get a, a makeup remover. Please hang on and hold tight. I'll be right there. Okay. But yes, you need to see that movie if you haven't. It's a hoot and a half. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. That was a really, so, that was a really, really bright idea of me to just take glitter. My arm is covered in glitter now. That was a really, I'm a smart girl. Okay, okay, cool story, bro. Now, because I have forgotten and I'm a moron, You see what happens when I do live videos? I just get so into talking to you guys that I forget about Rooster. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay, so if you're new to my channel, this is the cat candle. I only light this candle when I'm filming, sometimes approximately 20, in, 20 minutes into when I'm filming, give or take. And I only light it when I'm filming because there is a metal cat skeleton in here with a wick that doesn't light sometimes. And I want us to all be able to watch the magic together. Oh my God, is he not gonna light today? 
Brewster is mad at me. That's what he, that's what it is. Rooster is mad at me right now. And he's like, you forgot about me, bitch. There we go. There's your little wick. That sounds dirty. That's what she said. Come on, Rooster. Let's get it up for the people. Hey, look at that. Look at that, my friends. So the cat is on fire. We can officially keep going. Fail. Failure. Failure to launch. Failure to launch. Rooster's going to sit back there. And yes, I agree. It is not my fault that that happened. I'm blaming it on the glitter herpes. So guys, this glitter is completely covering my arm and apparently my life now. So that's not fully coming off. Anyway, let's move on to the this row. So this is a completely green teal row. So I'm going to go into Venom, Lust, what is this one called? Hater? Hater? Why did I say that's so weird? Okay. Mm, see, this row calls to me. Look at that color. Ooh, that is a pretty, pretty matte. I hope that looks nice. I don't know why I'm holding my pinky. Like, that's going to help situations any. But anyway, so this one right here is Venom. So that's really pretty. I don't know how easy it is to see. It's kind of, it's a low-key teal, but not in a bad way. It is very... I don't know, it's got lots of blue sparkle in it, but it's very pretty. <laughs> Jennifer just called glitter the COVID of makeup. I love it. This one, Lust, let's see. Ooh, okay. That's a nice color too. So that's kind of a deep green, like a deep teal green. It, again, it came off not so great, but as I can't remember who it was in the chat that pointed it out, I'm sorry, but Juvia's Place mattes sometimes don't swatch that well, but they apply well on the eyes. So, okay, this one is Hater. Let's see. Whoa, that one is bright. That, God, this glitter is a pain in my ass. Look how bright that is. That is very pretty. There's a strong teal feel to that. And then Jealous. Let's see this. This one I'm excited. Hmm. That is so rich and delicious looking. That looks kind of delicious. Kind of delicious, my friends. Okay, let's keep going. Because we still gotta put makeup on our face. Okay, so if you guys have watched my channel at all, I think you know that like this row technically is the one that appeals to me the most because of this glitter. And I don't even like pressed glitter. So I wanna try Wasted which is, hmm, that does that looks interesting. So in the swatch on my finger, it's patchy. Not sure how good of a sign that is. 419, this is another glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Let's go down here. So, okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know. This is one that I have trouble pronouncing. Is it period or period though? Period, okay, you know, it's, it's period with a T at the end of it. I am an old person, and this one is ASAP. <laughs> I'm an old person. Do all five from this warm row? Okay, I will. They'll be out of order, but let's do it. Okay, so first we've got Wasted. This one I'm a little nervous about. Oh, Wasted kind of came to play. Periot. Periot is how you say it. And then someone said dough, like period dough. I think peri dough. <laughs> okay, so at least I'm not the only one. Um, this one is 419. Ooh, oh, that's a pretty glitter. Pretty glitter. How am I, why, why did I put on another glitter? Why do I hate my life and my choices? Okay, this one is, what is this? Okay, this one is Peridot. Audra is here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, it's 2020. Most perfect excuse I've ever heard. Here we go. Okay, you know what, stop. I'm done. I am done with this color. I'm freaking done. Look at, <clears throat> okay, this one is ASAP. Do you see how rich this, it's like a deep brown with a hint of purple to it. Let's try this. Oh, oh, 
I'm feeling it. I'm freaking feeling that last color. Oh, Natalie said it's midnight and she needs to go to sleep, but she can't stop watching. I don't know what to tell you, Natalie. Oh, wait, I forgot to swatch that last one. This one is lit. This one is lit. Um, that's quite underwhelming. Let's try another one. It's a very, very light color. It's a very light color. It's okay, though. That would be a good transition color. That'd be a good, like, brow bone spreader. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So this is, you know what? I want to do a swatch all on my own just for fake, okay? So fake is the true multi-chrome. Holy crap. Okay. Oh my God. It looks like actual wet. You see how purple it is? But then let's see if we can get that green shift. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the true multi-chrome. Let's, I want you to see, cause it's so green in person, which is so strange. Let's see. It does look like it's wet. It is, guys, this is beautiful. Like you see how it's much darker here and it's kind of, it actually looks wet. Oh, you know what? You're right. Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gents. You are absolutely right. She said, hold a mirror to it. I always forget about that trick. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's try this. Whoop. Let's see. Come on. I don't know if it's catching it. There it is. Do you see it? Look at that. It looks like two completely different colors right there shifts to straight gold. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Juvia's Place did the damn thing. Oh God, I keep staring at it too. It's just like, even if you just see the purple, it's so wet and beautiful looking. Okay, okay, let's, let's move on to, let's just do these last four and then we'll, too much, colo. Oh, whoa, 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 that's, don't press so hard with the glitters like I just did. Okay, then we've got Yab and Oya. Oya is very, Oya is very interesting. So in here, it just looks kind of like a dark browny purple, but here it's almost straight like black, black sparkly. Okay, so this is too much. That's actually really good for a matte pink. Hmm, interesting, okay. This is, this is the glitter Colo, which I completely decimated the pan and put way too much. That's a good purple glitter right there. It's catching the light very nicely, very, very nicely. This one is Yab, I'm not too excited about, yeah, okay. It's there, it's a color. And this one is Oya. Yeah, that looks almost just black, huh? Do you see? That's very interesting. Very, very, in very, very interesting. Very interesting. And yeah, you know what? I had heard rumors that, where did I, oh. I had heard rumors that this was going to rival Natasha Denona, like the trio chromes. I, I agree with that. I really do agree with that because it's, these are insane. These are insane. Um, I can't stop staring at this. I mean, I feel like we have to use that color, right? We have to use the fake color. I'm gonna put some in my eyes and we're gonna see how they do there. I think I'm probably just going to have to have glitter arm for the rest of the uh, live stream. I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Tara Lee does makeup said, you know, let's not go that far because I love Natasha Denona. Girl, me too. I really love Natasha Denona. But if you are a budget queen, or to be honest, if you're choosing to support, um, you know, a uh, black owned brand, then you would go for Juvia's Place because Natasha Denona Trio Crumb Palette is what, $129? Juvia's Place is $38.
Also, I do feel the need to let you know before I put this on my face, if you are already a member, if you're not already a member of Rakuten, which used to be Ebates, you need to be. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored, but I think it might be today only. Rakuten is 12% cash back. So that means if you go through Rakuten to buy it on Ulta, then you get 12% uh, cash back, which is pretty hefty, I think. And I think it might be today only. So I did put in the description box down below how you can sign up for Rakuten. I use it all the freaking time. So I don't know. I use it all the time, especially on Ulta and Sephora. But yeah, I think Ulta is normally 4% cash back and today it's 12. So just keep that in mind. But let's, uh, let's put some of this shit on our eyes, huh? Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what I am feeling today. I know I want to go for this fake look. What if I did kind of a blue green? I'm trying to think. Hmm, maybe a blue green in the crease. Maybe like this lust. Mm. I'm trying to, I don't know. I don't know why I'm just going, uh, going a little bit crazy. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I don't know why, why this is hiding your comment, Mrs. Unnecessary. You didn't say anything bad at all. But yes, so, hmm, let me keep thinking. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's something, you know, everyone's, a lot of people are saying they want a teal look and I kind of want to play with that teal row. What do you guys think? Let's do this, let's do this row. Let's stick to this row. And then maybe I'll put some goals on top because I feel like I need to play with one of these glitters. So let's play with some glitters, okay? All right, I'm gonna be using a whole lot of my, uh, my brush switch. Do, do, do. So also tell me in the comments, tell me where you guys are from. I like hearing that kind of thing. Also, there's 42, I'm just gonna say there's 42 of you watching and there's only 26 thumbs up. Can you just like do one of these, like click that button and maybe click that, give it a little. And also subscribe if you haven't already cause I'm fun. Ding. Okay, let's do a teal look. I'm gonna start going in with Jealous, okay? Jealous is right down here and I'm gonna take it just on a fluffy brush. Let's try this. I'm only going in a little bit. Lots of powder. Philly, oh, Philly, you better do your job. <laughs> no, just kidding. Toronto, Utah, Dallas, North. There's a whole bunch. Michelle, where are you from in Maryland? You know I'm a Maryland girl, right? Where are you from in Maryland? Wisconsin, Denver. Gosh, you guys are from all over the damn place, huh? Stockholm, Sweden. Hi, Sweden. What time is it in Sweden right now? Kentucky, London, Ontario. My gosh. Aberdeen. Oh, okay. So you are fairly close to me. Oh my God. Illinois. You guys are... Nigeria. You guys are from everywhere. I love it. Okay. So let's try this. So we're going to take some Jealous. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Oh, a lot bit. You know what? Before we do that, how about I put on some eyeshadow primer? <laughs> Maybe that would help. I'm just using Urban Decay Primer Potion. This will help the colors live their best lives. Let's see, okay. Louisiana, a couple people from Louisiana. Okay, first I'm gonna do a little tap tap. I feel like Karen Harris over here where I'm like tap, 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 tap. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing more reviews on this palette, I did link a couple below that I really liked. One is from Britt Clark, one is from Angelica Nukvis, and the other one is from Karen Harris. So they're all down below. Um, so I don't know if you can see, this is, these mattes are going on, this one's going on slightly patchy, but right now I am just kind of packing it and then swirling it on the outside. Actually, that is really pretty. It's very pretty. I'm gonna take this, you know what, let's do a halo. I haven't done a halo in a minute. So with a halo eye, we go on the inner corner and we go on the outer corner. And we kind of meet them in between. So let's try this. Sharana said that teal with your hair. It's so funny because for some reason I get so hesitant with blues because of my hair. But whenever I do them, people seem to be very nice about it. So maybe I'm wrong here. 
I'm just reading all of your comments. I swear, you guys are some of the most positive people on the internet right now. The internet is not a happy place at the moment. So you guys all just being very nice to each other and nice to me is, it's making me feel some kind of way. So thank you. I feel like I kind of needed that. I don't know about you all. So what are you all doing for self-preservation right now? I just started bullet journaling. And when I say just started, I mean this week. <laughs> I went out and I bought a bullet journal and all like pens and markers and stuff like that. And I've been looking up different blogs and YouTubers and watching a ton of videos. And it's kind of helped to like zen me out. The movie and makeup moments that I ate my kids Halloween candy. <laughs> and oh my God, and just weed. I just like weed, one word. You know what, add a girl or boy, I'm not sure. But out of you. I got a whole bunch of blue right on my inner corner here. So let me, okay. Amanda Rach Lee has incredible bullet journal journals on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. Oh gosh, Bethany, I went through this with Bush and Gore. She said, yes, I remember it. I feel like this is a little more stressful for some reason. I don't know. I think it's because, you know why it is? Because we're all in a global pandemic. So you put an election year on top of a global pandemic and this is what happens. Everyone needs therapy. I feel like I really need to get some like discounted Halloween candy though, because I don't any candy this Halloween season. And I feel like that's sacrilege. We put up a bunch of Halloween decorations. We did not give out candy. So what we wound up doing instead is I have a, is there a non-dirty way to say this? I have a very large backyard. Why does everything I say sound dirty to me? Because I have a sick mind, okay? That's very pretty. This is a very pretty color. Um, but yeah, I have a large backyard. So we had five friends over, um, spread out very socially distanced, like to an embarrassing level because I'm a paranoid person. And we have a projector and we watched Beetlejuice. So it was a lot of fun. And the, so I did not wind up handing out candy, but I did wind up watching Beetlejuice. So there's that. This is a super pretty color. So I think I wanna go in with Venom on the inner lid, like right in the center. Um, let's try this. I know I keep getting up and down. Give me one second. Whoop. Okay, I feel like I Okay, let me know if you can hear me and see me okay again, guys. Sorry, my, my connection disappeared from it. Can everyone see me? Someone said she's lagging big time. I had a lag. Yes? Good? I'm back? Yep, okay, good. Sorry about that. My internet sometimes can be a big fat bag of dicks. So, okay, I'm wetting this down. That's what she said. And let's put this right on the center. Interesting. Um. That's not doing so well. Let me zoom you in a little bit more. I don't know how well you can see. You can see very clearly. Hi, Britt. Britt Clark is here. Britt, I am really liking it so far, but I'm finding out different ways to use all of this. So, okay. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just made someone had to put headphones in because I said, big fat. I won't say that again. Let's try this with my finger. That's what she said. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go, my friends. Ooh. That's the way to go about it. That's the way. This is the way. Has anybody watched Mandalorian season two yet? We have not started it and I'm kind of ashamed. And if it is, if you have started it, let me know. Is it good? Are you liking it? Yes, so I would suggest this one, I'm applying with my finger completely. Britt, by the way, I linked your video down below, girl, because I freaking loved it. Freaking loved it. Oh no, Michelle said it's not the whole season? Hmm, okay, that's interesting. So they just released like, what, half season? Or did they did they pull a Walking Dead, how Walking Dead releases like mid-seasons and shit? That annoys me. Okay, let's do... 
This is, oh, this color is so pretty, but I do want to show you something in a second. Wow, do you guys see how metallic that is? Oh, one episode at a time. They're releasing episode by episode. Well, that's a big load of crap. I hate it. I hate it. We have become a nation of people who just want binge watching, right? So give us what we want, please. Oh, this is this is really pretty. Hmm, you guys see the shift on this? So this is a very minty teal. I really like it. And I guess, you know what, I think I, I, I think I must have been wa binge watched the first season after it ran. So maybe that's why I didn't notice that it was episode by episode. I do not know, but I do want to show you Venom up close. So can you guys see how it's getting, it's not so much hard pan, but it's interesting. But guys, this, this is so pretty so far. Like these colors are blending out like a dream. And I think if anything, you can see that those, cause I did the swatches of those mats and it looks like crap. They looked like absolute crap. And on the eye, look how, look how bright this is. Look how bright this is. I am freaking kind of loving this. Loving it. So here's the question. Do we want to put Goals Glitter on top of it or do we want to leave it as is? Because I'm not sure. These do have a good amount, like a good base to them, but still, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, Britt said she noticed that with the JP too. Once you use the, the metallics, the pan gets harder. So Hmm, I guess that is what it is. Okay, everyone's saying to do the glitter. You guys want me to have the COVID herpes all over my house. That's fine. That's fine. I thought we were in this together, but no, I actually love glitter. Hence my channel name. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to dip into goals. So this is that blue glitter. Look at that. Oof. Okay, They're, these glitters are actually shocking me because they really are beautiful. And because you can see, because I can't get it off my arm at all, like they have a good amount of stick to them. They have a good base to them. So let's try this. Oh, oh, did I just make a huge mistake? Cause that's kind of chunky monkey. Hmm, that's a little chunky, little chunky, but still really pretty. What do you think? So here's what I wanna try on, hmm, get it off my hand, get off my hand, my friend. Let's try it with some glitter glue. This is NYX glitter glue, and I do not know how this is gonna work out, but I guess you and I are gonna see together, okay? Oop, I'm gonna take just a little bit, a scooch, a scooch, and pat that to the center of the lid. Oh, I love this teal look though, that's so pretty. Nico Johnson says, I'm at work, so I'm secretly watching. Do you want me to start talking? Tell me where you work and I can start talking about work stuff. So it seems like you're working. Do you work at a grocery store? I can be like, hey, hey, Bob, I need a price on those apples. I'll help you out. I'm here for you. I'm down. I'm here for you. Hmm. Okay, so this brush is picking up no glitter at all. None. Zippy. Zippy, zippy. So I'm going to continue to use this with my finger and pat this on top of the glitter glue. Okay, so that is really making it stick. Oh, thank you for coming, Miss Unnes Mrs. Unnecessary. I really appreciate you stopping by. Okay, there we go. So glitter glue definitely does help. It does have like a bait. Woo, that looks wet. Wet. A multi, Audra just called me a multi-talented queen. I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. Hi, I'm Linda, multi-talented queen, how are you? But look at this, do you guys see how absolutely beautiful these are? And as far as fallout, so I wanna show you guys up close. There is a little bit of fallout, it's not bad though. It really isn't bad for what it is. I'm actually gonna see if I can even just kind of wipe it away with a tissue because I don't even think that it needs makeup remover. Did you all just hear me burp? Because I did. I had tacos right before I came on. 
They're amazing. <laughs> Look at that though. Ooh. I keep looking at this eye in particular. You know why? Because I don't have the ability, this eye I can close while keeping the other eye open. I can't do it the other way around. Are you guys the same? Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, so I'm going to take my BK Beauty Brush number 207. This is from the Brit Clark line. Oh, hi. And I'm gonna go right back into the Jealous color. That's the teal down here. And I'm gonna put this right under my eyes. This is so pigmented and like, I'm so glad that I didn't go straight for the, um, like based off the swatches. You know what I mean? Because this is super, super pretty on the eye and the swatches did not look pretty. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I feel like I have to keep my hand here. I'm not pulling or anything like that. And I make terrible faces when I'm doing my under eye. This is soups pretty. Oh gosh. And guys, let me remind you, this palette is $38 for 30 colors. $38 for all this. Look at that. Okay, wow, that's nuts. You know what? I don't even think I wanna put on eyeliner. I have eyeliner right here. I don't think I wanna put it on. Let me do this. And then I want to put on an inner corner highlight. Oh, these are so, so pretty. As a reminder, if you are interested in this palette, it is linked down below. And I will tell you that is an affiliate link. So. If you decide to purchase it and you go through my link, thank you so much. That actually really helps my channel. And because YouTube is not my full-time job, stuff like that helps me create more content for you guys and be able to get more new products. And oh gosh, this is so pretty. So freaking pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who's at me today. No, Jennifer, I keep my mouth closed when I'm doing mascara too. I do go like this though. Which is just as attractive. I feel charming. Okay, I'm done singing now. So you can all stop unsubscribing from my channel. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go back in with another pencil brush. Which one do I want? I feel like I want to put this one, which is Shakara in the inner corner. Oh, so someone said a contrasting color for the inner corner. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I have to do this one though. Shakara, because this is the nice silvery one. This one had the definite gold tone. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Amber was singing along with me. Thank you, Amber. At least I know I'm not alone. Oops. Hold on one sec. The chat disappeared. Okay, here it is. Oh, Anastasia says pink. Put some pink in the inner corner. Oh my gosh, I'm such not a rebel though. Let me try this. Let me just see how it looks. <gasps> oh, do we see how that picked up the blue in there though? Whoa, 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 wee wa. That really picked up that blue. Oh, that brightened things up, huh? Jeez. Okay, you know what? A bunch of you guys seem to want to see pink in the inner corner. So are you thinking too much? That seems crazy, right? That seems crazy. These two, I'm not loving though. Let's see. Okay, I hope you guys can still see me. It says the chat disconnected for a second. Oh, successfully connected, let's see. Oh, dip between the silver and the pink. Let's do that. I'll put like a little bit of a pink tinge to it, but do you see how metallic that is? Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Let's put, a, maybe I'll put like a touch. Look what you guys are doing to me. You're kicking me out of my comfort zone. You're taking my comfort zone and you're like, I crush, I crush your comfort zone. I crush it. Okay. Ooh. Hmm? 
How are you guys feeling about that? I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's just do it on the other eye. Let's do it on the other eye. Let's try this, because it is kind of making a neat little purple kind of tone, which if I bring it up, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'll put a little more silver on top of that, just a little. That's interesting, because it's turning into like, almost like a purple duochrome itself. Look at that. That's actually kind of neat. Well, okay. Give me one sec, I have an idea for a highlighter with this. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys back out. Woo, a little bit, a little bit too zoomed. Okay, so no one ever talks about this highlighter, but this is one of my favorites and it's not linked down below yet because I didn't know I'd be using it. So this is by Naked Cosmetics. This is a brand that not too many people talk about at all but this is their holographic highlighter palette. So as you can kind of see, you have different shades of highlighters. So pink, purple, this one's like a peachy pink kind of, green, blue, and gold. So I feel like I feel like I wanna try this kind of like mermaidy green. I feel like that would look kind of badass with this. Let's see. Oh, oh. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's kind of nuts looking. Wow, that's a lot of highlighter, huh? That's a lot of highlighter. I don't care. I don't care. This highlighter is so pretty. And I love it when I have kind of like a bold look and I do a highlighter like that. So for lips, I'm gonna be boring as hell and I'm just doing, this is the Sol de Janeiro um, Keep It Rio. And it's sort of just a tinted lip balm. And if you saw my BoxyCharm video, so this stuff has the Coco Cabana scent. I do not like the Coco Cabana scent, okay? It smells like popcorn, buttered popcorn, and I'm not a buttered popcorn kind of girl. Oh, Amber says that I got the Brit Clark Gorgina. I will take it. I will take it. Okay, let's zoom you back out. Okay, so how are we feeling about this look? So let me tell you how I'm feeling about this palette. I am not returning this, okay? So when I bought it, like I'm not even joking when I say that I really walked out going, oh shit, I'm probably gonna have to wind up returning this because I just wasn't sure, you know what I mean? I really wasn't sure, but I just, I just, I'm shocked. I am really shocked. Don't let the swatches dissuade you, okay? Because if I had gone in the store and just swatched it on my arm, I probably would have walked out and not bought this, okay? But look how good that teal turned out on the eyes. Like, I'm madly in love. <laughs> I'm madly in love. And I really wanna do, I can't wait to do looks with each one of these rows, right? Because it's just so beautiful. Like, I could absolutely see, okay, gently putting too much in the crease area and just having a hot pink crease with fake, which is that crazy duochrome all over the lid. And then like, I don't know, like some yab to blend it out, some Oya in the outer corner to really deepen it up. Like this whole palette, like I haven't been this inspired in a while by a palette. That's really impressive. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty damn happy. And yes, a lot of people say that this is a big palette. They don't know what to do with it. Let me just also show you. It is tiny. It is skinny. It is skinny mini palette. This is very, very lightweight. It does not take up that much space. So I don't feel like it's overwhelming like a Morphe palette or something like that. Those palettes, I'm just like, what, what, what the fuck are you guys thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? But this one, no, I think it's worth the money. I do have it linked down below again, but I am like really, really feeling this. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Whoop. Oh, and she's just like, hi, how are you? Oh, bam. Hi, how are you? What are you, what are you doing today? How are, how are you liking the election? Bam. It is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Soup's pretty. Oh God, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. 
And yes, Amber, <laughs> Amber said no swatch, no store swatching equals shadow joy. Actually, that's a good point because how many times have you been turned away from a palette because you swatch it and you're like, oh, well, that looks like crap. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you guys. Yeah, someone said, oh, Emily said, I would love a video of one palette, three looks or four looks. How are you guys feeling about that? Are you into it? Because I might be, I might be able to be convinced, coerced, anything like that. But if you haven't yet, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe. I do have a video coming out on Monday. I have videos coming out every Monday. And that one is my Sephora VIB haul. So I know I talk about being on a low buy and I kind I, I look, I've been doing way better than I was, but can I grab it? Oh. Oh, okay, you guys get a little sneak peek. I'm not gonna show you what, what's inside, but you see the size of this bag? This is my haul and it's coming Monday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications by smashing the little bell icon so that you can be notified. But yeah, okay, well that's it, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm going to go um, stress eat some gummy bears in front of the TV and watch CNN until I fall asleep rocking back and forth. But anyway, oh, Amber wants to know if the Dyson did this hair. So no, the Dyson did not do this hair, but I do have a really in-depth video coming out about the Dyson. It's not coming out for probably a few more weeks because I'm, I'm diving deep and I'm basically, I'm, I'm filming a whole lot for you. I've already started filming that video, so make sure you stay tuned. But thank you guys so, so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Like huge hugs. Please take care of yourself. If you have not been drinking your water, drink your water, please. Mom is telling you drink water. Oh, does this kind of match my eyes? Drink some water, get a good night's sleep. I love you all. You're super freaking rock stars. And I'll talk to you later, you guys. Love you so much, bye-bye.